What's up guys? Uh, my Porsche is really sanded. It's a lot less yellow than before. I miss that because you guys don't want to see me sanding a car because it's really boring. But I also put an engine in and I started to make a video and I made some cool looking engine mount, but it doesn't work very well. So it's going in the garbage and I didn't even bother making the video because I didn't feel like it. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is building a rear bash bar uh, and possibly mounting the rear bumper and the wide body flares for the rear just because I'm sick of looking at it not being wide body. So let's get to it. Uh, I'm going to start by making the parts that mount right here. They'll bolt in and then maybe bolt in the rear if I find it necessary. Um, and then they'll come out and I'll probably go a single bar around, around the side and then I'm going to do some fancy stuff on the back and then maybe a jack point because jack points are cool. And what kind of engine is going in that? Huh? I said what kind of engine is going in that? It's a Subaru engine. All right, guys, Evo or Porsche? Evo or Porsche? You vote. And obviously vote Porsche or uh, you're, I'm deleting your comments. So Evo or Porsche, tell me. Evo. Evo or Porsche, leave the comment. I'll send you and a free if you vote Evo, vote Evo, if you vote Evo, he'll give you a free sticker, but I'll delete your comment. If you vote Porsche, I'll give you a thumbs up and uh, I'll have Corey send you nudes. So I took these tabs that I've had pre-made. Um, I just usually order a bunch of these with a couple different bolt sizes. Um, and I just chopped them down so that tube fits snugly in between. Uh, very snug, actually. There we go. Yeah, some, a little something like that. Um, so that's getting welded there and there, obviously. And then there will be a bash bar that is just one single bend. Just boom, boom. And uh, that'll be tucked under the body. It probably won't protrude because those don't protrude very much. And then I will likely add a brace from here to there just to make it a little bit more structural if the off chance, which would be absolutely terrible. If I got hit right here, it'll save me a little bit. Um, and then, so I'm gonna cut those, cut and bend those, and then uh, work on the next piece. So these bars are tacked in place, and then I had these uh, already bent from something. So basically just chopped them down a little bit and tacked them on. So that's about, that's about how they'll be. Then up next, I'll be making a bar to go from here. It's going to come down, across, and then back up. And basically... So, the exhausts are going to be coming out of here, which is kind of what I'm designing my bash bar around. Um, so I didn't want this bar to go straight across and block this hole. And also, you know, hopefully you can't see the bar behind there, just to make it a little cleaner. You can peep in and see the engine. Um, but with the bar coming down, across and down, I'll also have a little jack point right here. Um, and I think it'll be pretty cool. And then also the license plate. Usually the license plate goes here, but this was much more important. So I'll make a little license plate bracket right here, which will kind of hide the jack point. And then uh, I think it'll look pretty sweet. So I discovered that these bellows are not existent. Um, I already did the other one and they're just literally piles of Bondo, which is stupid. So I'm gonna use the flap disc and get rid of them completely. And then I think I'm going to mold this piece to the rear bumper eventually, uh, just to make it look a lot cleaner. 
So let's get to it. Be sure to wear a safe uh, respirator if you're going to do something like this, otherwise you'll die. And I'm in the wood room, which is currently not lit. So we need some lights in here. I got lights right there and right there. I just need to hook them up. We're getting there, slowly but surely. So this one here carved away pretty nicely, but I'm gonna cut that and then just fill the gap, fiberglass, the back bumper and the little extension piece together. This one did not grind away so nicely. And it's also not very attached to the car. But yeah, same thing, get a fiberglass the gap and attach it a little better because it kind of, kind of broke there and broke on the bottom. Good old cheap fiberglass. But it looks pretty cool. I'm super happy with it right now. So right now I'm pulling this window because this is the last piece of glass left on the car. And then I'm gonna put the front bumper on maybe. Make a little bash bar for the front as well. This car is really shitty. Ton of braze. Um, I'm making a YouTube video. A ton of these bolts, carriage bolts with a flat head. Retarded. Rust everywhere. It sucks. Looks great. Here's the front bash bar. It's very simple. What I was going for. Bolts to the factory location and then it's just a solid bar instead of the old gas strut thing. It tucks in pretty nice. Bumper fits over it. And then it lines up about with the fender. I'm getting new fenders. I'm practicing my finger guns. But this one's, all right guys, check this out. This finger, good, right? This one, he can't not do I, that. I like... <laughs> Anyways, back to... <laughs> Fenders are getting replaced with fiberglass ones because this one's super, super shitty. That one's kind of shitty. I'm just going to get fiberglass for both. They got some rust and whatever. Um, so a lot of fiberglass on this car. Good. Um, but up next, I'm going to be patching some holes. Uh, so basically, you make a little... Nugget like that, it fits nicely. And then you just weld it in without warping anything. So there it is, freshly welded. Uh, those welds can be as ugly as you want, as long as you don't burn through. Uh, and then we're gonna grind it down, and then we're going to maybe file it, maybe sand it, depending on how good we can get it with the grinder. So that is filled, and barely see it with a little bit of a uh, little tiny bit of filler that'll be fine and now I just need to do that a million more times with all the rust holes and those holes and the mirror holes and more rust and more rust good and here is the finished product on the mirror holes almost I still need to deal with a little bit of warpage and then got the wiper hole and the mirror holes over there. Those are all filled. And didn't grind these down, but whatever. I gotta cut this out, stupid rust. So that is all for now. Um, we're going to Las Vegas. See you boys at SEMA if you're going to be there. If not, you're lame. <laughs>